I'd like to give a little bit of a demo of different things you can do when debugging programs in Liberty Basic. I want to use the example of the Mayhem game that comes with it, which is like a tank shoot 'em up game, kind of like Gorillas for Q Basic was. That game uh, had you playing one player against another, drawing um, buildings. Uh, like a like a cityscape and then a gorilla on each side and then they would throw bananas at each other well this is kind of the same thing but instead you've got a couple of tanks and the players uh, shoot at each other I'll show you really quick okay so there you go this is a really really simple uh, not a very challenging terrain to shoot at each other over but you get the idea so let's just try this I'll set my gun at an angle and give it some TNT to charge it up. Let's see if I can nail him. Oh, it looks like I'm overshooting. You get the idea. Okay, so... Okay. So let's say that I want to uh, track the position of the shell as it moves across the screen and I want to see that in a window so what I would want to do is have a text window and I want to print those numbers as the the code runs and so I could see it happening uh, so if you look at this example the program code has this statement no main win and what this does is it actually prevents the default text window from opening when you run your program so a couple things we could do. The first thing we could do is we could comment this out. Now if you watch when we run this, it will open the text window right here. We would log to that. So let's do that. Let's add some code that will log the, the values in X and Y of the position of the shell as it moves. So to jump quickly to, to any part in our program, we can press Alt-G or we can click on this little toolbar button here. And what that does, it gives us an outline over on the left here. So the, the routine is called Track Shell. So if I double click on this, it just takes us straight there. Now let's look down here. Okay, so here, here's the, the loop where the, the shell moves across the screen between this while and wind here and if you look the at the X and the Y each time we go through the loop we compute a new X and Y so let's just add a print statement after we get those values and we'll print it out so let's see what happens run the program and okay let's move this over so we can see it now let's try shooting the gun. Uh, let's try that. And I missed, barely. But you can see the numbers all get logged over here. This is the, the track in X and Y of our shell. Okay, so now another way we could do that, let's try something else. If we don't really like the idea of commenting out our code and then remembering to uncomment it out, we can use the debugger instead. So let me remove that. Now, if I go up into preferences, we look at a particular uh, setting and always down here this is turned off but if we turn this on then whenever we run the debugger we'll always open that main window even if the no main win statement is there so let me demonstrate right now if I click on the debugger icon then it will open the debugger and there's no text window. Okay, so let's close that. If I if 
I turn that option on, There we are, we have our text window. Now, I don't need to remember to comment this out in order for this to work. This is very handy. So now, if I just click on the, the play or resume button here, the program will run at full speed. Now, if I shoot at the other player, And look over here, you'll see that the numbers are being logged over here. See what happened there was I, when I clicked on the window there, I put the cursor there and then it, it, uh, it, it put the, the X and Y there where I clicked on the cursor. Um, so if I, if I want, I can, I can look at all kinds of interesting things in the debugger. Like, for example, what, what if I'm wondering, where is the code that, that plots this uh, landscape? Okay. So let me close this. And if I run the debugger again, last time we clicked on this button, the resume button. But if I want to, I can actually watch each line run as it draws. And this slows things down a lot, but it actually allows us to see where we are in the code. So for example, if I click on the animate, then you'll see it's running, it's running, and now it's drawing the ground green. And it's in this area here, you can see where it is in the program that it's drawing the ground. So now if I just come here and I just pause it, right there. Okay, here we are. This is where it draws the ground in this part of the program. It's useful for discovering things. Um, and watch the, the program run. And, if, and at this point, all I need to do is, if I want to continue, is I can just uh, click on this button here if I want to go full speed or if I want to keep on animating a line at a time, I can click on this button again. Or I can step on this one I can step one line at a time like this. Now you watch each time I click on it, then it goes to the next line. And as it does this, you can see the X and Y values changing. So, and there are other variables up here too. Like for example, we had predetermined that the wind speed for this uh, game would be 17 miles an hour. If we stretch this up, we can see more of these. Okay, and down here you have an array. You can watch the array values change. But up here we have all the variables and things that we've already defined for the program. And as we play the game, some of those values will change again. Okay, so now let's say I, I'm I want to be done drawing the ground and I want to see what happens after I draw the ground. I just want to run to this line here outside the loop. And then um, I want it to stop. So I can put a breakpoint right here. All I have to do is just double click. And then if I run with this, with the zoom button, it finishes drawing the ground, lickety split, and then it stops right here. And I can watch what happens afterwards one line at a time by just clicking on this button one at a time. There it draws a tank. And it draws another tank. You can just see it right there disappearing. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to draw some more things. Let me just I'll make this a little bit over further to the right so you can see what happens. So as I, I move down here, you see it's painting on the screen. 
and then we're done. So now, if I want to, I can uh, do the same sort of thing that I did before, where I stop it right where I want it to be. So I can scroll down here, down to the track shell where we were before, and I can put a breakpoint right here. And if I then shoot at my enemy, my little tiny enemy, then it jumps. It runs all the code right up to here. It just jumps right through that and stops right here. And if I want to watch the, the loop move the projectile on, through the screen, all I have to do is just click here one line at a time. And okay, there you see it. It's drawing each one. Now you can actually see what is happening. It's drawing each one and it's erasing the old position after it draws it. So let's just run this all the way through here. Oh, let's get rid of the breakpoint because it keeps stopping there every time I click on it. Get rid of the breakpoint. Here we go. It's a little slow because it's also drawing the logging all of the uh, X and Y values to this window. Okay, so uh, that's a quick tour of uh, the debugger and some things that you can do to uh, analyze the things that happen in your programs. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, until next time, have fun with Liberty Basic.